Throw your arms across your eyes and scream, man. Scream for your life. <laughs> I'm Bill Worcester, a.k.a. Zazibar, and I'm, currently I'm trying to get my headphones plugged in for it is the addendum to the Week of Kong, the first addendum of what will probably be many. Joining me, of course, Dylan McCandless, Super DM64. Hello, everybody. So we have a little bit of a, a surprise that, that, that was uh, dropped on our doorstep uh, in the past few days. And by surprise, I mean it popped up in my YouTube feed. <laughs> uh well, I won't get into any more detail than that. But again, once again, thanks to the International Space Satellite in Outer Space, we have been given access to the Mighty Kong, the 1998 animated mu- musical version of the original story of King Kong. Dylan, are you excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck well, I mean... you. I'm excited. I mean, it's it's a come on, man! It's a fuck! It's an hour and twelve minutes. What what are you gonna lose here? Like this is you've never seen this movie. Number but, one, I've seen it many times. Exactly, you've seen this before. You know what you're getting yourself into. I'm I'm just anticipating the worst. Uh. It's it, okay. So number one, it's not the worst thing ever. It's it's pretty bad though. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's interesting as shit. Uh, there's, there's a whole bunch of reading that we did prior, uh, to, to, to get the limited amount of background that we could. I looked, I looked up some stuff on Wikipedia. It told me nothing except this is a children's version of the original 1933 version of King Kong. And I was like, I was aware of that as a matter of fact. (laughs) Um, so there wasn't much background I found online, but Dylan, of course, reliably went to his big book of Kong, which has a different name, but that's what I'm going to call it. And that's all it should ever be known as in this in this series, the big book of Kong. Uh, and he found some info out about it. So Dylan, tell us what happened here. You, you read it. You saw it with your own eyes. I just heard you say it through Skype. Yeah, so like, basically, how reliable is Skype? This came out in 98. It was attempt. It was an attempt to cash in on what they, what they saw as like a return of like uh, monster movies at the time. Cause obviously Godzilla was coming out at the time. You had the, Disney's Mighty Joe Young remake coming out at the time. Um, and uh, speaking of Disney, this features a lot of Disney talent. Uh, the uh, the chick who played Ariel in, in The Little Mermaid is is uh, Andero in this movie. Um, the songs were written by the, the fucking guys who wrote fucking Mary Poppins and some other shit. Um, a whole bunch of Disney classics uh, subbed in for some other shit. And uh, also interesting fact that we learned from from the Big Book of Kong is that the guy who wrote the script to this movie actually wrote fucking King Kong Escapes. So we Which have is some returning. We have some returning Tong, uh, Kong talent. This here. movie didn't come from fucking nowhere. This didn't come from Bumblefuck Cinema. This this is like this is something. Some, somebody made this. Like, yeah, um, it's interesting. It's interesting that fucking Universal delayed their plans to make a Kong movie because they were worried about 98 having too many monster movies coming out already. Meanwhile, these people were like, there's monster movies. Put a fucking Kong thing out. And interestingly, like, this is another movie that's based more on the original story of Kong, like the book, um, in order to sort of, I, I imagine, skid the line of public domain, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because that book is so old that it kind of it kind of skirts that line. We don't have much else to say here because there's not much more information. We're able no, to. but there's something in the background that's really loud that you should like d- d- die down. What is that? I uh, I got a phone call. Actually, you know, I need to BRB real quick. Oh boy! All right. Uh, so yeah, I think we've pretty much said everything that needs to be said. This was uh. This was kind of destined to be crap, right? <laughs> uh, pr- probably. I mean, again, I haven't seen it yet, but uh. But I have a lot of other I... animated. Based on the other animated Kong musicals we've seen, <laughs> I don't have. I don't have very high hopes. That's true. We don't have a good track record with these things. But I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie. I saw it when I was really young, and anything I had on VHS that had a monster in it, especially King Kong or Godzilla, I was pretty much guaranteed to at least like. So. Uh, this had this at least has that going for it. Um, 
And I, as far again, as far as I remember, it's got some good moments of animation in it. Kong doesn't look bad, but man, the songs suck and everything else sucks. So why don't we get right into it? Uh we have it queued up on the International Space Satellite in Space. Uh, so Dylan, are you at zero zero? I am. Now, one reason that we're recording this addendum very uh, unexpectedly and uh, out of nowhere is that uh, we don't know how long it's, it's this... Cause, it's because of the International Space Satellite in Space. Oh, yeah, of course. We don't know how long this is going to stay up. Previously, we were incapable of finding it anywhere on the Internet, and now it magically has appeared before us. So we want to get this done before this fucking link gets fucking terminated. So if if you can't find it well, at whatever point you're listening to this... Uh, commentary in the, in the future um sorry i guess you're fucked i don't know i don't know what yeah, to tell you. It's <laughs> just just we'll try to we'll try to create as much context and just be as generally charismatic and engaging as possible right d uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get right into it then all right let's press play in three two one a play Wow, that's really loud. Fucking Warner Home Video. You have any idea how many VHS tapes I have with that fucking opening on it as a kid? Fuck, I should be watching fucking Mask of the Phantasm right now. Well, we're not. (laughs) And I'm really sorry, but right now we're watching what appears to be... This is almost like a Skull Island, like, oh, we're just going to show you the big... Moment of Kong. Like, I, I loved this opening when I was a kid. This freaked me the fuck out. Hang on, I gotta go turn down my TV. You talk to the people while I go do that. This movie does while certainly the people cut point to at the each chase. other. This movie does certainly cut to the chase so far. That's one positive thing I can say about it. Uh, but then we're, we're not very far in. Uh, It's a nice, it's a nice animation style. Like I can't quite put my finger on on what to compare it to, but I think I like it a little better than the uh, that animated series. Because it's, uh, at more, least, tradi- at least it's more traditionally like a cinematic two D animation. Yeah, especially Kong. He doesn't have that weird like I don't have a neck thing going on. <laughs> uh, he looks more like King Kong. Yeah, he looks more like. Uh, remember when we saw the old Kong in Return to the Jungle? Do you remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's more in line with that design, which we preferred, if you'll recall. That, that moment when I said, oh, I wish this is what he looked like for the rest of the series. Yeah. Art Scott. Wow, look at that. He's, we have several he's, ideas. He's such, from... he's, such, he's such a beautiful rendition of a, of a guy named Scott. Uh, oh, wow, there's Jack Driscoll and Englehorn. What do you think? I think Driscoll is, like, scarily spot on. Like, I look at that, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's just Bruce Cabot in a cartoon. Englehorn looks <laughs> like... Um, Mickey from from Rocky. <laughs> we gotta stop mm. going into Skull Island, Rock. Yeah, kinda. That's what look kind of looks like Abe Vigoda. Anybody out there is familiar uh, with Abe Vigoda? When you get shot on the Empire State Building and you're going down, just remember I got you like an angel on your shoulders. And remember, get up, you son of a bitch, because Mickey loves you. What do you think of my Mickey from Rocky? Um. Oh. Uh, so, so the guys who wrote Mary yeah, Poppins. Uh, well, hang on. So, uh, this is the introduction of C.B. Denham. Uh, not Carl Denham. I don't think they ever refer to him as Carl Denham. How do you feel about that? I'm assuming that the C stands for Carl. Uh, I always hated this. I always hated this version of Carl Denham. He's not a badass like the original. He's a fucking, he's a fucking prissy fucking wuss. <laughs> He's kind of all talk and no, no, you know, uh, what's the word? All talk and no show, I guess. You Isn't... know, I was complimenting the animation of the opening, but this, this is, this is vastly inferior right here. Well, this is supposed to be, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Well, again, they're trying to make it more ch- child friendly, so it's not like adventure movies where he's going off, like filming lions running at the camera. It's like fucking animals fucking around in the woods, and then he has these people dance around it. This is the worst thing ever, though. I mean, I, I again, I didn't even, I, I didn't like this part as a kid. It's By the also way, we have way too long. Hey, there he is. That's uh terrifying. 
I also CB denim. yeah, that was CB CB denim. There he is. Look at him. Oh boy. Yeah, look. There's also nobody there. That's kind of cool. Kind of looks like kind of looks like uh, Professor Crane. <laughs> He's got like the fucking like long limberness, the fucking big ass nose. Like he should be putting on a fucking straw hat and fighting Batman any minute now. He's also British. That's also an interesting change. There were uh, versions of scripts that were being written in between. Uh, like the 60s Kongs and, and, and the 70s Kongs and the 80s Kongs. And this, which um, did bizarre stuff with the with the story, and some of them actually made Carl Denham British. I, I assume is to make him like more of a Professor Challenger type from like the Lost World, like the Sir Arthur Conan Doyle story. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the deal was here. This is Dudley Moore playing him though, so I think that's why. I guess that was the reason. Oh, yeah, another interesting fun fact we learned. This is Dudley Moore's final movie. What a way to go out. Uh, the animation's not bad. It's a little creepy. Oh, okay, that is, that is a very racist Jewish character he was just speaking to right there. Holy shit. Did you see the, did you see the schnoz on that guy? And hear the, uh, that's the Jerry his, Lewis voice? That's his accountant. I bet he is. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is not necessarily okay. Um... But I'm I'm fine with it. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mister Denham, your books are terrible. Uh. <laughs> oh wow. Well, see, that's the other thing too. I don't like the Dudley Moore voice. Uh, well, I because I, I, they try to make the animation match up with his rambling. It's like it doesn't work because it it, it looks creepy. Look, look at them. They're just staring at this girl wrestling off this giant man. Like, look, they look like they're, I mean, like, fucking shitting their pants. He's got a fucking toucan be growing out of his face. I can't get over this guy. Yeah. Oh, look, there's our and arrow. See, this movie is just weird. The but, uh, scowl. We have, a, we have a lot of ideas for possible addendums to the Week of Calm. Uh, obviously, we're doing this one first because of timing. But uh, at some point in the future, we might actually watch some some episodes of the, of the cartoons. Um, maybe I'll get a better sense of that from that than, than the fucking movies that we yeah. watched. Yeah, definitely. We'll watch the pilot and a few a few others in the in the finale probably. Would you okay would be with doing like a hour hour and a half two hour block of that? Sure. I mean, so do you like four episodes? What if we did like? Sure. The pilots, uh, so like uh, the 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 opening episodes and then the the closing episodes. So you you just fill in the gap in your mind. Yeah, well, I mean, you're a fan of the '90s show or early 2000s, whatever the fuck it was. So like, if you could if you could pick out some like episodes that you think are like good examples, then I think that would probably be the best way. I for don't me to know get if I can remember. Well, I probably can. We'll see. What, we'll see how we do it. We're going to do those later, though. We just did this right now, obviously, because we can't, you know, we can't wait on the International Space Satellite in space forever. Exactly, exactly. This is shit. I don't like this. I don't like musicals in general, do you? You think think he's supposed to be the Iago of this movie? I suppose. I haven't seen this in so long. My God, look at the fucking... Look at the silhouette of that accountant. God, I'm watching a fucking shitty Kong musical from the 90s, and yet I I can't... Like, this accountant character has just, like, taken up all of my attention because of how awful it is. Yeah, it's really... This is really quite disturbing. Would you would you Would you agree? I just think the animation attempting to match up with the voices is terrifying. Yeah, there's something kind of off about the animation. It's like you know when you watch a, a cartoon from the '90s. It's kind of it's it's that quality, but it's like it's we gotta to turn our we gotta we gotta turn our respective shit down, D. Okay, can you hear mine? I just turned mine up by accident. There we go. I did it. That'll work. Um. There's a... No, of course there aren't. Fuck. This is just way too long. Like, it's padding. Like, how long is this movie again? Hour and 12 minutes. All right, so we're eight minutes in. This is almost like the 33 of Kong cartoons. 
and not the 33, the, the 05, where it's just like it's it it fucking pads everything out to fill a really long unneeded runtime. Even though it's not that long. What are we looking at? What the fuck is this? Why why does why does why does Denim need a need a fucking stereotype Jewish sidekick? He's already got stereotypical Chinese shipmate. Isn't that enough? I don't think he's gonna have that in this version. <laughs> oh, I don't no know. Crazy I, I could be wrong. It's been a long time, like I said. But I, any don't, version remember, of I don't recall anything like that. Any version of Colin that doesn't have crazy black man been here is kind of. I don't know. I don't know if I can get behind it. <laughs> I kind of like Anne. She's a lot feistier than a lot of other Anns. I wish they kind of like I, I like I like O five. The O five Anne is not feisty. She's sarcastic, and I like that. Jessica Lang is sort of just sort of bubbly, and thirty three Anne is. Mm, <laughs> I don't know what thirty three Anne is, but she's not. She's not feisty. Uh, she she she's a damsel. Uh. That that's that's true. Uh, oh, is Jessica going to punch her in this version? Oh, look, there's a kid playing with a pizza. Oh and no, no, it's not a pizza. It's like one of those. It's it's a shipping tool. I like you thought he was playing with a pizza. Didn't it look like that? No. You're an idiot. You don't understand. You don't see pizza. You're, I mean, you're crazy. I was, a little, I was a little bit more distracted by the, the monkey and the hat. Yeah. It's a, that, and it, so they kept that for this version. Monkey. Monkey on the ship. That's always crucial, right? God, look at that thing's eyes. It's pretty. See, it's a super cartoon monkey. As opposed to when we'll see Kong later and he's just like this giant monster. But I guess that's intentional. I don't like the kid. He's sort of creepily looming over Andero. Everyone in this he movie looks like is creepy. He looks like he's going to pounce on her. Everyone in this movie is, is creepy in the face. <laughs> yeah. They all, have the fun, they all have the blackest eyes. Yes. The devil's eyes. The devil's eyes. eyes. Dun, 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 dun. This boat is a lot like a bigger. Dog. This boat is a lot bigger than any other version. I guess that's to. I guess that's more realistic than for when they have to transport Kong, though. I forget how big he is in this version. I guess we'll find out. Jesus. Well, at least there are real guns. That's always nice. See, Warner Brothers is always good about that, as opposed to other companies. They were always just like, we're just going to use real guns because that's that's what that's what's there. Because if you look at like Marvel cartoons, I mean DC mostly does this now as well, but they used to not. Um, no. ray guns. They they used to use ray, but they but they use ray guns and lasers and shit. But back in the day, they used to use real guns. Uh, yeah, well, which is fine when it's like the fucking Mandarin. But when you got Spider Man fighting some street toughs, it's like, come on, man. Yeah, I that that was always bizarre. Well, in the comics, it was always real guns, but in the cartoons, it was always ray guns. That was the great thing about Batman T A S. Joker yes, would just whip out real a, guns. Just whip out a fucking Tommy gun and go to town. Superman TAS did both. That was that. That's what was great about that. They did real guns and they did ray guns. Yeah, well, Superman obviously had a little bit more of a sci-fi bent to it. So, but they also license. grounded it in the real world of Batman, which was awesome. With a bit of a sci-fi twist because it took place it took place in, in Metropolis. Um, but again, I don't think the animation of this, if you take just a still frame of it, looks bad. But it's only like the motion of it that looks really creepy and bizarre. Like, look at this! Oh look at god. this! Oh my god, that kid's head, the way he turned it just then, I was <laughs> like, Ugh. This kid has, like, two very distinct parts of his head. He has the bottom part and the top part. His mouth and his chin are, like, sort of crammed into the bottom part, and they have a very clear divide with the top part, which has his head. Do you see this? Do you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, kind of very clear, like it, it almost looks like a big butt, but of like a like a vertical butt. <laughs> what? You know, like a, like a butt is usually butt. horizontal with the cheeks, like you know, um, sort of, you know, like hor- horizontally facing. Like, you know what I mean? And then, like, if you turn that vertically, <laughs> that's what that kid's head looks like. Okay. That's all I'm saying. You need to you need to just get behind my my descriptions of things. Um, you're saying he looks like so you're saying he looks like Tom Holland. Uh. Yes, butt face. Yes, 
Tom Holland doesn't have a butt face anymore. I don't know what they did, but they 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 got rid of the butt face. <laughs> I don't know what they did. Hollywood has there's something in that water, man. You just you're there for a few months, and all of a sudden, butt face is gone. I like how none of these characters have teeth. They have like one giant white <laughs> wedge in their. <laughs> Why are why is she spending so much time talking to this kid? I don't know. Get to the fucking island. Kong thirty three would have been there by now. Uh, I don't think so. We're only fourteen minutes in. Really? Yeah. Oh Jesus. Well, let's do a time check. I'm at fourteen twenty eight twenty nine thirty. Yep, yep, we're in sync. Oh, God. This is I feel terrifying. Like I've been watch- we're about to get shanked like- in a dark alley. I feel like I've been watching this for longer than 14 minutes. I would have to agree. Um, How do you think that this recounts the story of the 1933 King Kong, D? How do you think it's doing? What are we doing on the bottom decks with what looks like rejected cast members from Hey Arnold? <laughs> like, why I, is- was, I was thinking the same thing, or Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Um... Or Jay and no, they look more Bob? like hey, look more like Hey Arnold, like the the one guy with the beanie. Kind of reminds me of the kid from Hey Arnold who always wore the baseball cap backwards, and the other guy with the the fucking tooth sticking up the, out yeah, of the top that, of his that, mouth. Yeah, that, that totally me. looks like a guy from Hey Arnold. Yeah, that fat guy from the fat kid from Hey Arnold who also what had a tooth sticking out of the top of his mouth. Do you know what they're talking about? Arnold? No, no, <laughs> he's an <laughs> asshole. No, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck that kid. Fuck that football shaped head, motherfucker. Where, where's uh, where, where's Hel- Helga? Is that her name, Helga? She's talking to the kid. Oh shit! I guess that makes Jack Driscoll Arnold. <laughs> Why is it in black and white all of a sudden? Because it's it's supposed to be edgy. Oh my god, this is so edgy. <laughs> oh, I get what they're doing. They're doing the whole because is in because mo- in most versions. This is almost like 05, like where they do Skull Skull Island, just Skull Mountain just looked totally different from one shot to the next. It totally did. It didn't even look like a skull the second time. It, it, it looked like a it big looked like face. a screaming face. Yeah, that, which was which is kind of interesting. Like if you're gonna do that, just do that. That's fine. But it doesn't look like a skull. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I was saying something kind of important, right? Okay, yes, so most versions do it where, like, somebody on the boat has heard of the legend of Kong and Skull Island. In 33, 33 it was Anglehorn. Uh, in 76, it was Jack. And then in 05, it was Hayes and Lumpy. And this is doing that as well. But they're doing it way longer. And this guy's just sort of floundering in the water here. Wow. Well, the monkey threw him into the water and ripped up his shirt a little bit and left a girl dangling behind some rocks. What a what a what a horrible event. I don't mind this shot. It's kind of interesting. But again, the silhouettes only maintain how bizarre these people look. <laughs> It's weird. Either go cartoony or go semi-realistic. This is trying to walk a weird line in between. Can you can you hear me? Yeah. All right, because Kong and all the main humans uh, looked like normal movie people. You know, like these people look kind of normal, except for Butthead. Yeah. He, he looks a little weird. His head doesn't look as butt shaped in this in this shot. Um, but then Kong looks like a big a big proper movie monster. Everybody else looks like a fucking Hey Arnold character. You say butthead, but I think does that does that make the monkey Beavis? Interesting. Probably. Again, I'm always thinking of more Jay and Silent Bob analogies, and that's more like the monkey from Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Which was an orangutan, I believe. That's a proper monkey, though. Wow, we finally get back to Denim and Anglehorn. And Driscoll. Jesus, they, he hasn't even met Anne yet. They're like ancillary characters in this movie so far. It's mostly been about Anne Darrow, the kid, the monkey. Um, Wow. And the rejected cast of Arnold. Yes. 
Wow. I Zingle? I like sort of, rem- I sort of remember this happening, but I have no idea why. Is, is Anglehorn noticeably more Scottish in this movie than he's ever been before? Well, that's how they describe him in the book, interestingly. Oh, okay. I think that's why they did it that way. Came across in the movies, though. No, uh, the, who they cast was just not that. How do they not know this, that that's her? That that's her. Like, like Jesus Christ. In this movie, he's like full on denim. There be whales here. See. Oh wow! My God, that clearly on female fooled us by putting a hat on her head. Wow. That's a lot. That's getting to be a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Excuse me, Anne. She, yes? He, no, she fine. just poured lamb chowder on his head. Wow. She made a lot of like food for just three people. She, at least she didn't, like, describe him as, like, like this a... is a long voyage. Like, you should have saved that, you bitch. <laughs> Not to get gender-specific. <laughs> But why were they all just like Lois Laning for a moment? Oh, she's wearing one piece of apparel, and suddenly I can't recognize who she is. Yeah, that was dumb. I don't. I don't even know why she didn't. I don't know why she had to sneak onto the deck like that. Like she's the star of his movie. Why can't she just strut? Like she has to be there. She has to. Why, I don't know why she can't just strut her way onto the deck and be like, "What the fuck is going on?" I don't she does that. She does. She does that in every other version. I also got to wonder if maybe Denim in this movie is also a little uh, a little Jewish because he doesn't exactly have a film that was either. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like Jesus Christ. I knew you were going to say something like that. Oh wow, they have the same reaction I did for to a cartoon character. God, I need to meet another, a new girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so aside from all the Jewish uh, metaphors. Um, what do you think of the dis- the version of events we're seeing here? I mean, it's just 33 watered the fuck down. Yeah, but it's not, though, because it's so different. Like, I-, I-, I have no, I have no fucking clue, um, like, who CB down, like, I, I just, so he's supposedly broke. Why is his show so fucking, like, extravagant, then? Like, it's insane. Maybe that's why he's broke. He threw all of his money into that, and it's not performing well. I guess. He's an idiot, then. I don't know, man. Wow, that was a little much. Did you see the the way his mouth moved there? Yeah, that's getting to be a lot. I do like (laughs) that he pitches the island to her like this. Like, it's this beautiful paradise, whereas we've already established that it's, you know, Skull Island. (laughs) Holy shit. I just had an idea, but it would have had to have been done like 30 or 40 years ago. What? And but hang on, before you say that, do you realize what's what's going on right now? Andero is Tule? But but who's singing the song? It's like the the the, sh- the sailors. Like I thought they were terrified of going to Skull Island a few minutes ago and now that the, but now they're like, "Oh, we're going to have a great, you know, holiday getaway." This is a miserable fucking experience, wouldn't you agree? But again, I think it's just because I don't like musicals. It's always I always just get like really kind of like just dis, like dissident to them. Like I get like really. Um, well, it's also just a poorly executed musical. Like you know, I don't typically enjoy them either. But if they're executed well, then I can at least be like, all right, well, this is well made. This is like these are the people who wrote Mary Poppins. What are they doing? Wow, real water all of a sudden. Good, do that. Great, and the cartoon seals in the re- in the real water. Why? Why that? Why not just use cartoon water with a cartoon seal or a real seal with real water? Why did you have to mix the two? Why are the lobsters dancing the same as they did before? The starfish have little guitars. This is just whose imagina- imagination is this? And arrows. Is this what she thinks this is going to be like? Is she a fucking... Is she is she a child? Now she looks like she's a different race? <laughs> anyway, um... For some reason, I get more of like a, a... Like a Broadway producer vibe from Denim in this movie than I do like film director. Yes, I agree. 
And that made me think of that Mel Brooks movie, The Producers, and then that made me think, how how fucking awesome would it be? And again, this would have had to have been done like fucking what decades ago. What is this nonsense? Who is this for? <laughs> Who did they think was going to like this? CG guitars! This is like a, a music a music video you would see on like the Disney Channel in like 2000. And and your and your little sister would be like, "Oh, that's great. That's awesome. I love it." And you're like, "What is this crap?" <laughs> I never had a little sister, but I'm just assuming, you know. What a what a what a what a waste of the chicken plate Ariel. We're 24 like, minutes in. I think that was all padding because we're about to get the Skull Island, I think. Like, oh, bitch can sing, but da, what's da, that? Da, 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 Here we are standing around again arguing over nothing. Was the Panama Canal around in the 30s? Yes. Okay. I have to say, because if not, I have to call bullshit on this entire franchise. Uh. Why? Because, because they're always it's, it's always supposed to be in fucking like the Indian Ocean, and they're fucking like or they're, the or the or wherever the fuck it is, and they're fucking setting sail from New York. Yeah, well, sure. Like without a Panama Canal, do you have any idea how fucking arduous that would be? Yes. No. <laughs> It'd have been better off. It's Look at better, how detailed been... this map he has is. Like, usually it's like a crude drawing. In this version, it's like a detailed, like, painting. So anyway, the idea I had was how awesome would it have been if, like, back in the 70s, we, we could have gotten, like, a fucking, like, parody version of King Kong, but, like, with, like, Mel Brooks' as denim. <laughs> I would have loved that, especially uh, way more than... Dudley Moore voicing him in this bad Kong cartoon musical. I wouldn't have minded Dudley Moore playing Denim in live action. I like the guy voicing Jack. He's really mean. (laughs) He's exactly what you need for the Bruce Cabot role. A dick. I say so! They've really separated the Hey Arnold characters from the real people in this instance. Although Denim sometimes looks like he's a Hey Arnold character, depending on the shot. They all have moments of that. That's the budget showing. Uh, they're singing again, D. Why? We literally just got done with this. Every scene seems like connect like bad connective tissue to get us to another musical. This is also a re like a re uh, a repeat of the song from earlier. This is also another example of that bad trope where people think, "Ah, oh, it's an animated kids movie." Do you cut out? You cut out. You're doing your own. Oh, I know what you said. You said you said. Uh, they they always think they have to pull a Disney when they do an animated uh, movie and make it a musical. Yeah. Yeah. That reaction was terrible. That makes me want to kill all these people in an embarrassing and tragic way. All of these men's noses are dangerously larger than the rest of their head. <laughs> Yeah, they should all like tip over. They're they're all <laughs> way too top heavy. Especially that little skinny Jewish guy. Like my nose is barely bigger. And holy shit, look at the look at the fucking stocking head guy. His nose is like his entire face. <laughs> He's a nose with eyes on. My nose does not fill up my entire palm. No, I I have a very small nose, uh, um, relative to the size of the rest of me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like it does oh, not look, take Skull up very, Island looks completely different again. <laughs> does not take up very much room on this my face. This is maybe the fifth, the fifth version of it we've seen. Oh, now it looks completely different again. Uh, <laughs> and 
Englehorn, oh, Englehorn looks look. so out of control of his life. This island changes looks more often than Kong did in 33. That's tragic. I hate the fact that Denim is always smiling. I'm having a wonderful time. I'm Carl Denim. I'm having a wonderful time. Fuck you, CP. <laughs> just suck a bag of dicks. That was so perfect. You were just like, fuck you, CB. Like, you could have edited that, that into the movie and it would have been perfect if this was an R-rated comedy. We should do an animated R-rated comedy of King Kong. And by animated, I mean we'll do it as a flip book and we'll do voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> a series of badly rendered storyboards. King Kong by Bill Worcester, Dylan McCandless. Hey, I need boat. <laughs> Why boat? What? It's just like it's it's like written by like a three year old. Like the fucking caveman version of King Kong. <laughs> Why boat? To go but island. Og need boat. <laughs> to Why go og island. Need og need go island. Why og? To see monkey. This is a weird shot. Like nobody's moving. It was like a weird freeze frame. <laughs> Big monkey on island. What Og's mama doing on island? I'm saying we should write this right now. <laughs> Look at the weird mix of real people and Hey Arnold, hey Arnold characters. So many of them are gonna yeah. get. So many of them are gonna get eaten. It's crazy. Really? No. Nobody dies in this version. God damn it. Do you think that Englehorn qualifies as a real man or a Hey Arnold character? Kind of in between. He is, He's a he is hybrid. Rather do you think his? Do you think one of his parents was a Hey Arnold, a hey Arnold character, and one of his one of his parents was a normal person? Yeah. See, it's like um, it's like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. His his father was was a man, but his mother was a toon. Oh wow! We're just in the village now. How do you think that looks? <laughs> looks uh, looks like a real. A real shindig. Uh, <laughs> a real shindig. Uh, Mighty Kong producers, if you're listening, if you'd like to put a quote on the eventual DVD release of the Mighty Kong, I suggest that you quote Dylan McCandless from this podcast and you just put a real shindig in quotes on the cover. Dylan McCandless, the Demons from Outer Space podcast. No, no, no. D D the Dylan McCandless, the Week of Kong, 2017. Mighty Kong. Wow! It's look a real at how fat stick. the chief is. I forgot about that. And look at how skinny the the the, the, witch, the witch doctor is. <laughs> I think, I think the the chief stole all the witch doctor's fat. It's a real shindig, says Z grade podcaster. <laughs> they all have really bizarre fucking face paint. It's kind of it's kind of creepy. Wow, that's a really good spot. Oh, he didn't smile for a second. He actually was like a little a little earnest there for a minute. Like, oh, maybe I fucked up. <laughs> and he was just like, nah. Nah. They were just Me in the, they, up? they were in the jungle a second ago. Now now what now they're back in the jungle. What is going on? This is... what. Wait a second. They were just in the village a second ago, though. This is so poorly animated. I kind of like the design of the witch doctor. Shit. Sorry, guys. I keep unplugging my, 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 uh, my headphones. They can hear that on the Amalto. There's a little, uh, that little beeping noise there. Yes. How do you feel about these natives? Uh, I don't like them. I, I was asking you before. How do you feel about them? Well, I mean, Chief Diabeto here seems all right, but the rest <laughs> of them, I don't know. You, you yeah, you, you, you like what he's about, but the, but the rest of them, they're a little. They all look like fucking. They also look like Hey Arnold characters. 
This is animated by the or, team who animated Or they look like villains from the Jackie Chan adventures. Ooh. That takes me back. <laughs> no, the Jackie Chan adventures was better drawn than this. I don't disagree. I'm just making a point here. I'm trying to be funny. Look Holy at shit. Did, you, did, you, did you see how tiny his hand was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big giant fucking man, and he's got these little baby hands. <laughs> it's, it's, the Donald Trump of fucking tribal chiefs. Um, God, I hope he has a high. I, I wish he had like a high pitched, effeminate voice to go with those hands. <laughs> we'll take the white lady. It's, cer- it's certainly disturbing that you've come to my island. Um. You know the old joke. You know the old bit where did you see he broke off a bit of that spear and he just came at them. It was really ineffe- inefficient. Um, oh my god, that wasn't just an animation mistake either. This character has really small hands. <laughs> you know that old joke. Where, like that- you know that old joke where, you, where your friend would be like, "Hey, you know, if your hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer." And just sort of instinctually, you'd put your hand up to your face and then they would press your hand into your face really fast, so you would fucking hurt yourself. Yeah. He couldn't do that. What that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, hey, man, you know, if your hand's bigger than your face, you, you have cancer. He'd be like, oh, like I, I'm, I have no need to worry about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very familiar with the size of my hands relative to my face. Now the map for the island is completely different. Does that mean that if you get, like, victimized by a head shrinker, suddenly you, you would, uh, you would uh, get fucking cancer? <laughs> No, because that's not true, Dylan. It's a it's a ruse to get you to smack yourself in the face. Remember, what yeah, it's true, the true, fuck true. are we watching now? Are we watching like Doctor Who? I... Do, do, this... do, 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 do. It's one of Hedera's origin stories. Oh, they're suddenly falling in love, even though they've never met. Look at how bo- poorly drawn the moon is. Let's I relate guess, over that. I guess on a technical level, the singing is better than in that other one that we watched, but there's just I'm not, way I'm not, more. I'm not disputing that. I just That doesn't make it good. <laughs> but there's so much more of it is the problem. At least with the other thing, it was like there's this one awkward song and then they go about their business. Oh, no, there were two awkward songs. I'd have to say that it's pretty much trash. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been pretty trash. Of course, the... The monkey hasn't shown up yet, and now we're we're halfway through the movie. Yeah, this is starting to get problematic. This is kind of we're thirty six minutes in, and we haven't seen Kong yet pro- properly. We've seen him briefly. What the? Oh my god! What is this nonsense? We're thirty six minutes into an hour and twelve minute long movie. Like they still have to meet Kong. He has to take Anne. Dinosaur shit has to happen, and they have to take him back to New York. All of that still has to happen, and we're halfway through the movie. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm looking ahead on the timeline. We don't see Kong. Oh, wait. Uh, I think we're going to see him in about five minutes. Jesus. I feel like at this point he would have already been fighting T-Rexes in 33. <laughs> or something, you know. Yeah, no, definitely or, yeah. You're probably well, at the very least we would have we probably, you know what? I don't know if we would have been that much for you know, you no, nah, we totally we would have been right now cuz remember 33 does more stuff on the boat, like they develop the characters more. Um uh right. Uh I imagine I imagine right now <laughs> Kong would be picking up Anne. 33 is a fucking, like, really well-paced movie, though. Like, it moves at a Yeah, but I think we, good... get to, we get to the island at about 25 minutes. We get off it after the initial encounter at about, like, 31, 32. And then at about 36 minutes to near 40 minutes, we Kong comes in. And then the rest of it is just like, Whoa. That was my Kong. Uh-oh. What, what did you think? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crazy black man been here. Oh, no. More like crazy orange man. I feel like this is the only time in cinema in, in all the versions of the story that the scene isn't scary. <laughs> like in the slightest. You know what I mean? Too bad they didn't try to do it in King Kong Escapes. 
<laughs> with the one dude, with the one old dude. He just stum- he just stumbles to try and pick up fucking Linda Linda Miller. I can't even get the kidnapping of the heroine right. <laughs> Let's see who finds the necklace in this version. There's no Chinaman. Oh, right. oh of course she... it's the kid. The kid is the fill-in. Wow. How messed up would it be if the kid... His head is up in a proper if... butt shape tonight. How messed up would it be if the kid went up to dinner and said, Crazy black man been here. I would be so thrilled. <laughs> I would die laughing. And probably shit myself. That would be unpleasant. <laughs> The guy with the yellow face, he looks like a boy band from the... He looks like, a, like the member of a boy band from the 80s. He looks like fucking like the member of Boy George. You mean Boy, you mean boy George? Yeah, sure, him. But like a member of that kind of band. Because like, I think... Uh, I don't think Boy George was a band. I think Boy George was just Boy George. Yeah, but he had a band. Okay, Sure. Presumably, <laughs> unless he was like playing all the inst- he ran to each instrument to individually to play the song really fast, so fast that you didn't even notice. That's how great he was. It was one of those one man mechanical bands. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jack, Jack, let me straighten you out on a couple of points. One. Excuse me. This is, wall. Is this island have a German beer hall? Yeah. You cut me off. You ruined my... You've messed up my groove. Beware the groove. Groo- we should be watching Emperor's New Groove instead of this. I don't want to watch the Emperor's New Groove. Why? That guy just hailed Hitler. Did you see that? How long has it been since you've seen I've got that I've done anything! It actually holds up pretty well. I was, I was surprised recently. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> It's about Aztec people. I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> Sorry, Andres, if you're listening. Uh... <laughs> he's not Aztec. He's he's Japanese. He's descended from Aztecs. Yeah, but he lives in Japan now, so he's descended from Godzilla. His ancestors were one of the ones who didn't get their heads rolled down the pyramid steps. <laughs> I see. Do you think he... You think he feels bad about that? No. <laughs> we should not be talking. I mean, nothing... We should not be talking about this. There's nothing you can do about that. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's always going on. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's going to be offended if he hears this. He'll probably laugh. He'll probably love it. Uh so what do you think of the boy George members there in the background? <laughs> Andres doesn't get offended anymore. We've broken him. Uh Dylan, at I don't even know what nationality 40, these 40, natives are 41 minute, fin, minutes into this hour and 12 minute movie, we're about to see Kong. There's only a half hour left of movie. This is unacceptable. I'm I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> there he oh, is. He looks better at the he... of the movie. What? I said he looked better at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> What's up with his fucking breasts? Yeah, they're pretty <laughs> pronounced. I forgot about that. Jesus Christ. Looks like um, Lady Kong. <laughs> he's why you see I, here's what I love about this version. They presumably do this all the time, but they suddenly freak when it happens this time. I don't know if I should run for my life or prepare a motorboat. Uh. But you know what I mean? Like they like presumably they do this all the time. Why did they suddenly freak when it happened this time? Why isn't there a wall in that's this another, version? Why a, are they, that, it's, that's it's, another question. They just Why they, are these, fucking, they just light a fire. In this version, it's almost like a prank. Like they light a fire on Kong's doorstep, and they they leave a girl instead of dog poop, and then they run away when he. It's like ding dong ditch. Why are these idiots just hiking up a mountain trail with their fucking trail mix and shit? And like, <laughs> like, why is there a wall? Why aren't they taking yeah. the proper? <laughs> Wasn't there a wall earlier? I thought I saw one. I thought there was a gate. I, maybe there wasn't a. Maybe there was a gate, but not a wall. I don't know. This is fucking weird. This movie sucks. Does he? He has a gun. Okay, so they have guns. Now, weren't, they, um, weren't they standing? Weren't they standing next to a wall when they first met fucking uh, Chief Fatty Baby Hands McGee? Uh, I'm pretty sure. This guy pretty much just exists to get fucked up. 
That was weird. Oh, this rock slide is terrible. I can't see a thing without my glasses. This is cool. I like the idea of, like, the prehistoric shit on Skull Island being inside a volcano. I mean, it, obviously, it makes things a little smaller, but, I mean, it's on an island, so it's kind of cool. Don't you agree? Oh. Clearly, we've been wrong about this movie, Bill. I just saw a pterodactyl. This must be the Citizen Kane of animated Kong movies. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Wow, we're just what right. I... <laughs> well, this is one change. Jack goes in alone. There was no lead-in to the fact that there are dinosaurs on this island. It was no, just suddenly there. it just happened. What did he do? He he it looks like he got, he got yanked up, but he just sort of like used the force to retract upwards. Why did he Why did he pull the pin out of that smoke bomb in slow motion? Did you see that? I did. That T Rex looks pretty good. This this feels so unrelated to the movie we were watching only five minutes ago. It suddenly just rushes through every big moment from the King Kong dinosaurs. The the T Rex is down. That's it. It's over. Like this if is... you're gonna do an animated, we're now Kong we're musical... now we're in the cave, Dylan. It's like the Skull Island stuff constitutes like five minutes, and now this is the seventy six scene. What if you're gonna if you're gonna make an animated Kong musical? And you're going to take that long to show us the monkey. At least make it fucking 90 minutes so we can spend some time on the island. Don't rush through all the good shit. Also, if you're going to make an hour and 12 minute long Kong musical for kids, why wouldn't you just make it all the fucking dinosaur stuff? That's what they want. Not the fucking people singing at each other. Yeah, yeah. In fact, you cut the musical and go all together. And this is straight up the scene from 76 now. I think that was intentional. <laughs> oh, it is. It definitely is. They were like, hey, we're going to take this one thing we like from 76 and pop it in our 33 remake. Stuff. Yeah. Like, did you know that in the old Hulk show from the 70s, he wasn't allowed to hit anything? Oh, this is also from 76. That's fucking brilliant. They were like, oh, let's, let's make a Hulk show. They can't punch anything. Yeah, they that's exactly what they did. He could throw people and he could, like, grab them. That was all he could do. It's fine. Because he doesn't fight. He, he The one time that he fights something in that show... It does kind of cripple it, where they just sort of grab each other. That's sort of all they do. And they and they grab stuff, and then they break it apart, and they throw it at each other. It's just funny, though, because the Hulk's whole thing is kind of that he Hulk punches Hulk smash, yeah. <laughs> Hulk, smash, kind of... Hulk smash is not the Kratos of that show. The Kratos of that show is Hulk lift. Mm-hmm. Hulk pick up tr- truck a little bit. And not over his head, just a little, he'll sort of hoist it. Hulk, bro, do you even? Jack's uh, got Anne already! Oh my now god. There's like a, the fuck is going on? They're mixing in some Son of Kong in this. Dylan, the King Kong stuff constitutes six minutes of this movie. Like the actual stuff on Skull Island. I, okay, see... Both this and King of Atlantis are are definitely better than Return to the Jungle. But which one do you think is worse between this and King of Atlantis? I'm not sure, actually, because at least at least King of, the, of Atlantis was like doing its own thing. This is just I a think shitty from remake. A technical of, standpoint, of this is better. Yeah, I think it's better made, definitely. From a enjoyment, like watching a movie standpoint, that King of Atlantis is ten times more watchable. Well, Kong looks better in this movie, but the humans look better in King of Atlanta, you know? The sto- but there's, uh, there's more of a plot, you know? And or then... at least at least the human characters are more consistent in King of Atlanta. They're all over the fucking map in this movie. Because it's like a weird parody. Like, now Carl, De- now C.B. Denim has a fucking broken leg. Why? You've been on this island for six minutes. Like, why is it suddenly personal? I hope that when they release this on DVD, they also put that on the on, on the cover. You've been on this island for six minutes. Why is it suddenly personal? Bill Worcester, The Week of I, Kong, 2017. I hope they don't release this on DVD. 
<laughs> I hope they do. So that just so that way we can get our quotes on there. I, I hope that it, it never sees the light of day again. <laughs> I'm just astonished how like rushed this was. I want this movie to fade into obscurity so that one day when everybody who made it and saw it dies, it'll just have have, have ceased to exist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're not wrong because eventually if they don't re-release it, nobody will remember because nobody will ever see it again. Exactly. So then once everybody who saw it, which unfortunately now includes me, once we all fucking die off... <laughs> Which will be sooner rather than later. Let's be real. Ah. That's awesome. That's that's kinda great. So it's you, is it? Wasn't wasn't Kong Brown at the beginning of the movie? That was like a weird flashback. Wait, he had shorts on and that and but he had a, he had jeans on a few minutes ago. Do you see that? Well, there are some shots where he looks less like Kong and more like the Mighty Peking Man. He strangely sort of looks like Skull Island Kong. In a way, yeah. It's a little weird. He's taking he's taking some similar inspiration from the more upright standing Kong. Such wow, as Toho Ang- Kong. Ang- Anglehorn took him down in this version. It was really easy, too. He just did one, and he was just down. <laughs> it, was all, it was so weird. Yeah, this has been wonderful. They haven't sang a single song since all this monster shit started that's why they rushed. That they, that's why they rushed through it, so that way they can get to another song. Right, they didn't have any songs to pad out the runtime anymore, and they don't know what to do otherwise. That's an awesome shot. See, they mixed in uh, Son of Kong into this, where the island's destroyed. When you write a movie like this, do you like put in song breaks <laughs> into the script? This is, in, this, is in, this is interesting. They change it from this from in this version. Kong looks completely different there and better. Um, in this version, they they're like Denim plays it as like he's gonna save him because the island's blowing up. Wow! Look how big he is. Would you show this to your to a kid to like your kid brother? Fuck no. <laughs> if you were gonna show your kid brother a King Kong movie, which one would it be first? Hmm, that's a good question. Cause Matt Matt watched uh I think Matt watched them in order. Like I did. See, I grew up I grew up with seventy six. Hmm. Is that appropriate for a kid, though? Ah, fuck it. Ah. <laughs> I agree. I don't know, because you know what? It depends on... It would depend on whether or not he develops that weird thing that some kids have where they're, like, completely against watching anything black and white. Because if he develops that that thing, then it would be best to show him 76 first. Right. Well, I would say show him 33 as, as young as possible, so that way he's got that memory has that appreciation. We're like planning out your kid brother's future. He goes back and listens to this. He's like, this is fucking creepy. What's they don't wrong? go to college. <laughs> See, we rushed through all of that action. So now we could linger on songs for five minutes. This is how long we were on the they... island for. Why do the fake natives in, in Denim's stage show look better than the actual natives? Yeah, that is weird. This sort of predicts some weird elements from 05. It like, does in a way. It's it's a little weird. Like like the tribal dancers that Denim hires. Think, uh, the more elaborate Jack- Broadway production. You think Peter Jackson saw this movie? <laughs> Do you think I think Peter Jackson like was the kind of guy he's like I'm gonna watch and read everything about King Kong. I'm gonna sit out on my dick and I'm gonna see oh, it wow. all. And sings in this version. We still haven't seen King Kong yet. And I mean, well, no, we have, but we haven't seen King Kong in the in the chains yet. 
Wow, those are some very fancy drums for tribal islanders. Okay, so we were so we rushed through the fucking island so much they're gonna show it to us again. How how good of them to do that for us? Now, now we get stock footage of all the shit that we wish we had gotten more of. Do you see the midgets? Did you see the midgets on the left and right? What the fuck? Those were like some movie. island of Doctor Moreau characters. Remember when this movie was interesting Ooh. for like five minutes. It wasn't that interesting, though. No, but I mean, this is the only this is had. the only version that brings Anglehorn back for the for the show. Compared to what we had before and after, it, it was fucking riveting, though. Mm. Dude, we're spending. Look at how much time we have left in the runtime. We're going to spend more time in New York than we even did on the fucking island. Wow, we still have eighteen minutes left. Yeah. That's more than double the amount of time we spent on the island. This portion of the movie is going to be longer than the actual island ship. That makes up the book. This is so terribly paced. This is one of the most hilariously misfired attempt to 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 readapt King Kong I have ever seen. It it fucking misses on almost every crucial point. That's it's hilarious. The structure is just completely wrong. Completely I also wrong. think it's wrong to show Kong in the chains before he's revealed to the public. That's dumb. Prepare to meet Mr. Joseph Young. <laughs> At least there's more people in the audience this time. He didn't have chains on him for a second. Oh! I always hate They're running out. He they literally run out. out he hasn't even broken out yet. Wow. I don't know if that lady fainted or swooned. A little, a little bit of both. <laughs> I don't think Anne gets fucked with in this version. I think he just breaks out because of the cameras. Oh, no. He, no, no, never mind. I, I love how, like, half the theater cleared out as soon as he was revealed. If they didn't... Well, the thing is, if they kept it a secret, that would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Because yeah, in, in, fucking... in, in 33, if... if Because in 33, it's a secret. Like, he, like nobody has any idea what he's going to un- unveil. He unveils a fucking 30-foot fucking gorilla? Yeah, I, I think that that's kind of realistic, no? I mean, yeah, people, that is actually a thing that you hear about happening. Uh, people used to run out of theaters and shit when they were watching, like, scary movies. I mean, that famously happened with The Exorcist. Yeah, but this that is more before. than a movie, D. This is a giant monster inside of a fucking house. See, this would never fly today. You take this You take this to modern-day New York, and they'd just be like, ah, it's a big monkey. Fuck you want. Fucking. Yeah, but they wouldn't let you do this now at the sheer idea of somebody getting hurt. Look at how thin Kong's legs are here. Right, right there. Damn. He did not skip leg day. <laughs> He's really fucking honed. He has got a thick. fucking six-pack to brag about. Oh, he's fucking thick, man. <laughs> Again, so, so is the, ver- so is the version in Kong Skull Island, though. He's right. that everybody was running through the aisles, but there were just a few people that were still sitting in their seats. Like, <laughs> they were just like, this is all part of the show, obviously. Wow, that was weird. Did you see the, that effect? That was a weird Adobe After Effect. <laughs> yeah. Do you think that they left the stuff on the island so quickly because that was harder to animate and more expensive to animate? They were aware that the six-pack is not supposed to include the chest, right? Yeah, that's weird. That's it's what like makes segmented. his that, that's what makes his 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 breasts so bizarre. Like they were trying to make him look muscular, but he looks like a fucking centipede. Wow, this is so stupid. <laughs> they didn't have cops outside of the fucking show. Look at how mad Denim is. Did he just say I've been running gorillas out of this town since Al Capone? Because that's the wrong city movie. (laughs) 
I like that he gets arrested. That's realistic as well. See, in my, in, my, in every version, I don't know how Denim gets in gets Kong into New York, and why he isn't just arre- arrested on site. Just... See how that cop hit the door with that knife stick? He was just like, eh. This reminds me of an American Werewolf in London, where the cops sur- surround the porn theater. The werewolf jumps out and bites that guy's head off. Game over, man. Game over. See, there are certain shots where Kong looks really good in this, and then other shots where, like, the fuck is that? This is very. Right now, he looks. This is very ninety-eight. That bit where, like, Godzilla walks by the restaurant, which is one of the few bits I like in that movie. That's eerie. Like, if you saw that, you'd be like, "What the fuck?" Um, I don't know how that happened. Mm-hmm. Kong is very calm in this version. He's always just like, "Yep, this is what it is." Come on, Anne. You'll be safe in my hotel room. <laughs> hey, that's the only version that brings him back. Oh, we wait for the police to apprehend Kong. Would you like some champagne? I think he ate more box there than he did fruit. <laughs> He was like, need mm, box. wood. That ain't the box he was trying to eat, but, uh. Wow, Kong just killed that cat. He's, look at how small he is there. What the fuck? Did you see how small he was there, though? I love how cartoonishly, like, antic gee this, this rampage is in this movie. This yeah. fucking big dramatic thing from 33 has been reduced to, like, oh, there's a big monkey, isn't this comical? Yep. It's a monster on the loose story. To make it more kid-friendly, of course. Wow, that guy's nose is, like, twice the size of his fucking head. Be it, Kong. Put his day up. Hey, that's awesome. He wasn't even fucking with anybody. He wasn't even saying his classic line. The end is ne- the end is near, man. He was just walking home. Kong just decided to pick him up and oh, fuck with Kong. him. Don't mess with sidewalk Jesus. <laughs> sidewalk Jesus. Oh, this is a, a PSA moment for Kong. Kong says no to smoking. Um. Um. Well, they're dead. Yeah, right. They just kind of glossed over that, didn't they? Wow. Look at how they're, small. They're... He, look at how small he is there. My God. He was climbing in that of a big they, volcano earlier and like filling up the hole. What the fuck? Unless they just came from a gold mine where they discovered power coins, they're all dead. Like that's. Yeah. Which, by the way, I think the car crash in the Power Rangers movie is very disrespectful to the original Trini. Oof, that was a good pull. Not and not. <laughs> Hello, can we get the uh, giant monkey wranglers, please? They're not answering. Dude, this shit was so rushed, I don't even feel like calling Wow, the what the man. fuck? Just tanks? That shouldn't... That shouldn't be. No, not at all. This is 1933. Well, not well, in on, you know, City think... this quickly. I'm there sure were some tanks primitive... were a thing. Yeah, there were some primitive tanks used in like World War One and shit, but nothing on this level. It looks like a fucking panzer division just that, came that, up to... That's not until World War Two, yeah. Like, General Patton should be here going like, King Kong, you magnificent bastard, a red book! She's like, yeah, just uh, moves you on over to this building. Is and keeps looking book like this. written on, like, giant paper? Or is it written... 
or is, did somebody like transcribe it for him as as he as he spoke you it know, aloud? You know, as he kept looking from side to side as he was approaching the building, as if he was trying to like sneak up to it. Yeah, that was more like seventy six, where he walks up to it. Do you remember that? Because in thirty three, yeah. we don't we don't see him do that. That's a seventy six thing. Yeah, we just cut to him climbing up the building in thirty three, don't we? Yep. Somebody's like, he's heading towards the Empire State Building. And then we can cut to him climbing the Empire State Building. What's wrong with this elevator? This is very 76 as well. I hope I hope that Jack will cheer for the destruction of these planes, even though he's barely been in this movie. See, all of Kong's actions are called into question in this version because we didn't spend enough time on the island for me to feel like he's even attached to the girl. Well, that, I mean, that's clear. That's clear, though. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess the, sh- the the waterfall sequence is the only thing that even would give you remotely that idea. But we just—he's always giving her to... googly eyes, though. This Kong doesn't have googly eyes. She has eyes. been asle- same... she has been asleep the entire time, though. Wow. I forgot. Well, there's about... a difference. I forgot about that. Wow. That's that's convenient and impossible. If you picked up that Bullshit. much speed by that point, you would break your arm. Bullshit alert. Mm-hmm. Woo-hoo. Bullshit alert. Well, she's still... Wow. Well, she's oh, that back. guy's dead. People died. People died. Take that down, Roscoe. Oh, yes, the, are you going to net up Kong? Oh, yes, look, you're going to net him up. Ah, uh, fuck you, movie. Yeah, especially since there's no Skull Island to take him back to in this version. Oh, that's kind of awesome. That's awesome. He just crushes yeah, the, the blimp. Where the fuck are they going to take him, Georgia? Oh, wait. That would be kind of dope. <laughs> Find his wife in Borneo. I have always wanted to see a proper Lady Kong, like a proper sort of 33 continuity version of that. Have you? Yeah, that would, that would be that would be nice. Like, especially do it that way where she's from somewhere else, not from Skull Island. But obviously they have a common a common relation. It's got to work. That didn't so much work as it did just not fuck up enough. Oh, he that should have killed him. Yeah, he should be dead. Did you see that? <gasps> yeah, no, he should definitely they should all be, be dead. What? The fact that he's not dead is complete crap. He should be dead. They should all be dead. She should be dead. I mean, After they this movie, should I... be dead. After seeing this movie, I feel like I should be dead. This is all just... <laughs> what if we are dead? What if this is hell? We belong dead. We belong dead. Did you see the girl on the left with the pink hat? She looked fucked up. Yeah, the fact that no. he's not just a puddle of mush right now is complete bullshit. At this point, I'm trying to notice as few things as possible. The whole movie just looks like a big blur to you right now? A big blue blur? <laughs> Is still going on? Yeah, wow, that's a lot more damage than I thought actually got caused. May well, all little Timmy, the sweet monkeys your bring you, sing you to your rest. <laughs> well, little Timmy, I knew King Kong was your favorite uh, monster, so I, I got you the fucking Mighty Kong for Christmas because <laughs> I'm an asshole. Because I'm an asshole. <laughs> Mama. Hey, he's alive. All his bones are and spine is shattered, but he's alive. Imagine after this, we just cut to him in a gigantic hospital bed. He's like, kill me. He's doing the head tapping Morse code from Johnny Got His Gun. Yeah. Oh, my God. And that's it. Thank fucking Christ. My God. What uh, what a fucking fascinating travesty that was. What'd you think, D? That was your fir- first experience. 
this movie actually did do one notable thing. We finally actually got to see him hit the fucking ground. Yes! This is the first and only time, right? I believe so. And you know what? It was not worth it. Uh, oh, because he survived, so it's bullshit. Who cares? That was just... That was... What a, what a fascinating disaster, though. I mean, taking so long to get to the island, everything was just connective tissue between the, the awful songs, and then it was just really rushed and hilariously so, and... and... Yeah. You know, the guys who wrote the songs from Mary Poppins and and fucking the Jungle Book. I think they were a little rushed, don't you think? And the animation is it's, so creepy. It's just it's not it's not pleasant to look at or listen to or in any way watch. It's probably it's one of the worst things we had to watch for this for the week of Kong. How do you, how do you go from writing "I want to be a man, man cub" to to this? They didn't go right yeah. from they, to be fair, they didn't go right from that to this. Yeah, you're right. They were probably like fucking senile by then, but Jesus. I don't think they were speaking by this point. I think at this point they were working together, but they weren't speaking. I don't really know much about them at all. I know that. So that that probably explains a few things, no? Ugh. Uh so D do you think that this is worse? So we. So do you think this is? You think this is worse than uh, Return of the Jungle or better than Return of the Jungle? I don't think anything can get much worse than Return of the Jungle. I mean, that animation and that was so fucking bad. That... The animation alone kills that for you. I, I would have to agree. I think it's 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 quite astoundingly bad in that. But I think story wise, yeah, no, that's that's a mess. Do, do you think that this is more watchable than that? I mean, this is a little shorter, I guess. This is definitely more watchable than Return of the Jungle, though. Uh, definitely. But out of the three, if I had to watch another one again, which I plan to hopefully never do, um, it would probably have to be King of Atlantis. I would have uh, to agree. I would have to agree. There were, only, there were only two musical numbers in that. It was it was doing its own thing with the Atlantis and the snake people and whatnot. And there were some uh, gladiator dinosaurs at the end. So, What else do you need? Well, D, I'm sorry to say you're going to have to watch that movie for the rest of your life every day. Oh, no, no, no. Would you do that if you got a million dollars every week? Watch King of Atlantis every day for the rest of my life? Once. Just once a day. You have to watch it. I mean, for a million dollars a week, I'm pretty sure I could bear it. <laughs> yeah, me too. That'd be pretty great, right? Fairly short movie. What if... <laughs> I was going to say, what if they like put a bomb in your ass and they were like, watch it or we'll blow you up? I guess you wouldn't have a choice then, right? Eventually, you'd get to a point where you would be so familiar with it that you could just sort of tune it out while you were watching. <laughs> you just fucking be like, uh. Um. Well, all right, dude, the credits are still going. They literally repeat all of the songs in the credits. I guess kind of mix the songs together, though. Ugh. This is the worst. It's a uh, medley. I think he, oh, he brings back other animals in this version, too. He brings back some pterodactyls. I don't think they ever call him King Kong in this version, either. They probably weren't allowed to. Well, that and also they, they, they probably called it the Mighty Kong to match up with the, that movie, because that was popular at this point. Mm. Look at that logo. Isn't that just, isn't that great? Um, well, all right, D. I think we've I've seen, I've pretty much said everything I need to say. I have a lot of nostalgia for this movie. Nostalgia well, that, that big... nostalgia that reminds me, wow, this is shit. Yeah, that was uh, that was a steaming pile. Uh I would have to say that that's worse than Ghostbusters 2. At least we finally saw everything that was on the original list for the week of Paul. Indeed, um, indeed. So now that all that's left is once Skull Island comes out comes comes out on DVD. And then anything that happens after that, and all the other series we have planned. Right, yeah. And like I said, we've got some other ideas for some addendums to this that we could do at some point. So. Oh, as well as the episodes in the animated shows, yes. The 60s one and the oh. 90s one. So we're not we're not through with giant monkeys, but we're, we're done with this bullshit. Indeed. Thank fucking Christ. 